please welcome from Dartmouth, Massachusetts, Dartmouth High School. So our show is basically a toy shop. And in the beginning we have the old man and his granddaughter, and he's coming through and he's going to see all the toys. But when they leave and the store closes, the toys come to life. And they've never been alive before, so they're they're all uncomfortable, they're unsure of what to be, and they're kind of kind of weirded out about this whole being alive thing. So they're going through all that, and then part two comes around and Barbie joins the scene. Nice paradiddles, Ken. And all the dolls realize, hey, being alive is pretty cool. So they get around with Barbie and all the other all the other Barbies, and they pretty much come around and have a a great time just being alive. Like you're kind of taught to have a certain technique when you march, when you play, and we kind of push the boundaries because we make it so that it's more stiff and rigid, more doll-like, so that's kind of a little interesting. Partway through, we have three Cerdo players come out, which is like a, it's a Brazilian bass drum. And we figured it was kind of like toy-like and kind of a fun aspect to put on top of the um, layers in the show already going. Shows are coming out with more and more deeper meanings. We just say, hey, Let's just get out there and have an entertaining show. So we thought outside of the box, we're creating this show. We said, how can we get people engaged and how can we get people to have fun while watching it? Because that's the most important part of this program, I think, is to get entertained and to really enjoy yourself when you're watching. I come out, you know, I take the Barbie and just bring the, you know, fun down, I guess, for everyone, you know, ruin the party and they all team up and stop me. We have a whole bunch of Easter eggs in this show. At the end, we have Batman come out, and he is Batman. So that's the biggest Easter egg. He comes out, fights the Joker. On our props in the back, we have 1998, because that's when Batman came out. That's when we first entered WGI, and we displayed Batman. And this is our 20th anniversary. So we have 2018 on there. We have 19, uh, 1998. It's new layers to the show. My role at the end is to come out and pretty much slap a bow on the show and kind of bring everyone back into, hey, this is a toy shop and I'm here to ruin everyone's fun. Attention shoppers, the store is now 